Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE WrestleMania Heritage Elite Undertaker figure. This is a flashback of when Undertaker uh, debuted, I believe, as it is a very young uh, looking Undertaker, which is awesome in my opinion, as I've always loved Undertaker since I was very little. I'm thrilled to get another classic version of him. Um, you can get these currently on ringsidecollectibles.com. You can get them at Toys R Us, Walmart, and I believe Target as well. And they're just really starting to hit shelves, so I'm sure you'll be able to find them relatively easily. Um, but this figure is so awesome, I highly recommend picking him up already, and I haven't even opened it. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at him fresh in the packaging. As you can see, it's a different color and packaging design, which I think looks so awesome. I love the red and black and white. I know it's kind of like how the colors were when the Elite figures first started years ago, um, but I wish they'd go back to this look. Um, it reminds me of the Attitude Era and stuff for some reason, and it just looks really cool. Uh, so that being said, looking at the packaging, it says highly detailed action figure at the top. There's Elite Collection logo, the WWE logo, and there's Undertaker there. It says includes hat and trench coat. There's a WWE WrestleMania Heritage Series logo there. There's a older picture of Undertaker. It says Undertaker. And it says Series number 34, which is interesting. I don't know why it says that, to be honest. That's interesting. Because um, this is not a 34 series. It's almost like they use the basic, or excuse me, the Elite 34 package template so I don't know if anybody knows what that series 34 means please comment because I'm not sure myself uh, it says Undertaker there there's a picture of Taker there and then there's a cool graphic work that I love on the newer elite figures there the black and white so looking at the back of the box there's a large image of Undertaker there's elite collection logo and there's a min some information about him here um, I believe someone said some of this info is wrong. I don't remember what exactly, um, but yeah, so that stinks if you're a mock collector as that isn't accurate. Um, but it says recreate the action of WWE. Also in the set is the flashback Kane besides the flashback Undertaker. And it says compete in these superstar rings. Pictured as a raw basic ring and SmackDown basic ring. As well as company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Mattel WWE WrestleMania Heritage Undertaker figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a fantastic figure. Um, one thing they did leave out is uh, his tie, which a lot of people were complaining about. Um, but one thing you could do is take the tie from the entrance grates Undertaker if you have one, which is also one of my favorite uh, basic Undertaker figures. And uh, you could put it on this one and it will look even better, which I plan to do. Uh, with mine. Uh, so that being said, let's take a look at him up close. Alright guys, so here you can see the new head scan of Undertaker. It's covered by this thin rubber hat. You can see the detail. The little buckle there. It's a thin flimsy rubber. As you can see there's a strap there. And it pops off his head very easily. And you can see there's a hole there that grips to his head. Here's his new head scan of his young look, uh, which is really cool. Looks just like him in my opinion. See the detail in his facial hair and his long hair. Sorry, the camera is focusing on the background there. It's a ball jointed head. It goes up and down as well as left and right. The coat he's wearing restricts the movement temporarily. Um, but you can see the detail in his shirt the buttons and other designs, the collar and everything. Um, you can see the detail in this coat, it is a thin rubber. It's cool, but he's stuck in this silly pose, so unless you want him to stand like a statue, I would recommend taking him out of the coat. You could essentially put the entrance grades coat on this one as well. Um, but these are kind of a pain in the butt to remove. You just kind of gotta work it carefully so you don't rip it but you just gotta work the arms as you can see and you just pull straight off like that 
Here's the coat. The thin rubber, as you can see. They made them a lot thinner than they used to be. Uh, like the very first Elite Wave with Edge, his coat was impossible to get off. Um, but these ones are a lot easier. But anyway, you can see the rest of the figure here. Here's his ball jointed head. You can see his head can move a lot more freely now without the coat. You can see the detail in his shirt, which is really cool. The wrinkles, the ripped sleeves, and everything like that. Just really awesome. And the sleeves are a thin rubber as well, so it does feel like he's actually wearing a shirt. He has a typical Elite ab crunch joint there. He has a ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. He has a swivel bicep joint, the typical elbow joint. He's got the molded plastic glove joint. Well, not a joint, but sorry. <laughs> it's covering the joint. But it's cool. It makes it feel like he's actually wearing his gloves. He has a swivel wrist joint as well as a hand joint there. And he has an open hand here for choke slam, and he has an open hand here as well that you can put like chairs and whatnot in. So it's really cool. Looking at his lower torso, he has a swivel waist joint, and he has his ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. So you can do a big boot really easily with him. He has a swivel thigh joint, he has double jointed knees. So you could pose him really well to do a tombstone pile driver if you wanted to. And looking at his boots, they're covered by this thin rubber like uh, cloth is essentially what they're mimicking um, with wrinkles to make them look authentic. I don't know what you actually call these things, but his other older figures have it as well. It's a thin rubber, you could remove it if you wanted to, um, but it covers his boots. The laces, you could sort of see the laces, but he has a swivel boot joint hidden by it which is cool and then he has a typical ankle joint but mine are extremely stiff so I'm not going to force it end up breaking his ankle just be careful with yours um, but yeah that's Undertaker it's a very simple figure of him back from when he was a more simple looking guy um, but it's still a fantastic figure in my opinion and I highly recommend picking him up if you are a fan of his um, and collect all of his stuff from his old days to his current days. Um, but this figure is really awesome. Mattel did a fantastic job. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.